Let's pin him down! I'll kill you! Don't come closer! Stop right now! Crush the leaves! <laughs> So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Ah! 
guys. Can't let you through. I'd head back if I burn his voice. Cannot enter.
Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. I cannot enter. Step away, sir. Hey! I'm talking! It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same ones. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the Guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Why is the Guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? 
He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it. I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Yes, 
Your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. But I swear, it will be quick. Uh, uh, I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. You, you and the lady? Really? I, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting I made? You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered if you... Ah! So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. This is no burning, boys!
Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Have you any news on Aloysius Dawson? I heard he intends to build some sort of wall. <laughs> Has he gone mad? Walls are prisons for the mind, and we are a free-thinking nation. I have found a restaurant that could satisfy you, Mr. Russell. The most intriguing and exotic restaurant in London. Really? You have piqued my interest. Where is it? It's a place where you eat in complete darkness and try to identify your meal without anything but your palate. My, oh my, how interesting. It could even be fun to eat a little poisson et fruit that way. Oh, oh thank you, Dr. Reed. Please, have this for your research. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. 
Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? He was mortally wounded. I put an end to his misery. That is terrible, Jonathan. And yet you did what you must. The poor man. Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic, but he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient? Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. 